starting to look like an actual village of some sort here. I got the little house icon and everything, so... Oh, by the way, welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders, y'all. So I went back to the arch and actually grabbed a few more horns right out here on the other side of the arch where it touches the ground. There's a bunch more out there, so I grabbed a few, made another thing here, and I've kind of just been busy, you know, placing, transforming, and doing the thing. I did this for about five minutes or so off screen, and so I got a few, a little more Malrothium and stuff. I guess I can look and see, like, what all I actually have in here. I got a forge in here. I don't know why I haven't set this down somewhere. That new blueprint he ors looks like a little unlike complicated side for a bunch of beginners like us. We'll have to leave this one to you and CF. Just remember the sooner you get it built, the through Oh right, because we were gonna build the thing for the car. You know, to make a toe print. Anyway, yes, I don't make sense. It's deliberate. So it looks like we need iron blocks. Yeah, this could be a little bit complicated, but it's not too bad. Connecting couch. Yeah, that's hilarious. So how much of this do I need? We have floorboards here. Wait, I picked up some, like, manky meat here somewhere. I don't know. Probably some monster dropped it. I actually gained a level of fighting monsters when I went to get those things. So, looks like I don't have any iron blocks. Wow. Well, okay. You know what? I might end up having to make that forge after all. Let's just get over here and see what we need. We need 14 of these. I'll just make... I mean, shit. I'll, I'll make... <laughs> I'll make, um, 110 of them. Sure, why not? Probably need it for something else later, anyway. We can make floorboard out of wood. It's a good thing we have that unlimited wood there, because I'm not sure what we would have actually done for this otherwise. Probably dead trees around here or something, and I just kind of walked right past them, because at this point, that's kind of just what you do. We have a little bit of cotton. There's some monsters trying to attack here. Let's make some connecting couches here. And then we got to make some pipes. Oh, boy. I mean, the pipes can be a little complicated when it comes to building stuff, but... I don't know, I guess we'll just get in there and see how bad it really is. Otherwise, I think we pretty much got everything we need here. So how shall... So how are we gonna start this here? Let's see, probably start with the iron blocks. That seems like the... You know, the basis. We got that eight, and then three on top of those. Sometimes I forget, like, which way is the front and which way is the back on this thing, so it really gets kind of confusing, but, uh... We want to go boom, boom, and bump, bump. And then same thing on the other side. Whoops, not there. Oh, no, I didn't want to scoop up air. Why do I have that set as a hand anyway? I don't know. Okay, and then bump, 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 bump. And then we just go doot, 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 and out my back door. Ooh, there's an old reference for you. <laughs> well, let's just put the full floorboards down first, and we'll figure out the rest later. I mean, if you put a couch down and it glows, then it's in the right spot. So, yeah, I guess that worked out pretty well. So, what else we got here? Connecting couch. We have pipes. Oh, this is where it gets real fun. And we have bent pipes as well. Oh, boy, look at this. Yeah, this can get kind of crazy here, I'll tell you what. And yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to see what you're doing, too, a little bit here, but, uh, boom, boom. And we go three on the back like so. Those will connect to something else later. And we go two right here. That's kind of hard to see what you're doing, I know. <laughs> three right there. And then we have one on the front that's going to have two other ones bent connected to it right there. Wait, not right there. Let me look at that again. I thought it was in front of the couch. It's actually behind it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So then right there. Okay. Then we take bent ones and go on either side like this. There's definitely going to be some on the corners. We'll figure out the rest later. This right here. I think it's actually two on top of each other. Wait. Like on top, like right there. Yeah, there we go. And then like this. Okay, and then we have two over here like this. And I assume the same out here, like so. Yeah, like that. And then two over here, like so. There we go. So what's left here? Two more bent pipes. Where do those other bent pipes go? Let me just get the last two bent pipes. Apparently they face the couch. Wow, that's weird. Okay, right there, and then right there. And then we have bolts, which go... There we go, just like that. And then two facing the couch, which would be right there and there. Whoops, nope, not, not like that. <laughs> maybe if I just stand to the side, it'll just put it in the right way. There we go. Is the vehicle done and dusted? Well, maybe. I'm not sure. It looks like I fall right off of that thing. That reminds me of a dream I had last night where I was going on some kind of ride. Like a Disney ride, but it was like Sonic-based. And as I started going on the ride, I remember thinking in my head, Oh God, this is when I die. <laughs> so, well, immune to failure? Maybe. I wasn't really reading the dialogue there, but I guess I'm happy, so... Oh god, what is he doing? 
He's gonna turn it into something else here. Yeah, you just keep banging that thing like that guy on Lost. <laughs> that is so funny on Lost when Sawyer's trying to sleep and the guy's banging on the thing and it's just, it's funny. I don't know. Oh, is my building a raft to get us rescued bothering you? Okay. Man, there's like something on the right side of my right foot. It's like peeling, oh my gosh. I didn't realize we did this this early. This is crazy, man. What is the... What is this trickery builder? Explain yourself. The very interesting. The blueprint was merely a substructure from which to build a completed vehicle. It looks jolly nice, but how does it work? Will it really be able to slop us getting sucked in by the Globule's gravity? Gravity? Oh, ugh, that is the worst nickname ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> Initial scans of the internal components indicate a fuel cell that can absorb the destructive energy of the gravity of the things. The fuel cell neutralizes this energy and converts it into propellant. It is quite brilliant. Scree, I didn't understand a single word of what he just said, but it sounds amazing. Amazing is confirmed with this vehicle. We can escape the attractive force of the globules. The search for more monsters can begin. I have never laid eye upon anything so foul. Does it have a name? Do I get to name it? It drives like a car and looks like an insect. So you call it the Buggy Buggy. I have never heard a more ridiculous name in all my life. <laughs> well... You have now. <laughs> Calculating absurdity level, error, error, overflow, in calculation matrix, loss detected in NTS respect vector. Oh, great, yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we did it. I guess you're the one I turned in the quest for. <laughs> now that we can use the buggy buggy, those nasty globules don't pose a problem. Initial data suggests NTS may be able to upgrade the buggy further, and it could do with a lick of paint. But we can leave that till later, right? Just think of all the new places we can go to now. Indeed, the Court of Chaos should be accessible now. If NCS goes there, perhaps he will acquire his friend's coordinates. But why? But why, oh why did you call it the Buggy Buggy? It's such a silly name. You should have called it something more special sounding, like the Super Silver Sprinter. The Super Silver Sprinter, y'all. Hmm. <laughs> okay, alright. Well... You gonna tell me where to go with this thing? Do I get to try it out now? <laughs> I must congratulate you on building as fine a vessel as the bu the bug, oh, the buggy buggy. The vortex is should obstruct you no more, and I am Spider-Man no more. <laughs> However, it will take much practice before you can confidently control a contraption of such complexity. I implore you to take it for a test drive nearby. Once you have confidence in its controls, press on past the vortexes and keep an eye peeled for any monsters that may be holding fast for Doomsday. I want to go with NTS. I know the perfect place we can take the buggy for a spin. Wait, was that? That was Aeris Blottle, my bad. Uh, very well. While he gets to grips with the controls, you can take charge of seeking out needy monsters. Needy monsters? Oh, okay, we moved it. Oh, man. Yeah, let's get going. I can't wait to feel the wind in my... Oh, wait. <laughs> let's go to the hop. Oh, baby. Well, I think that's enough practice for the slimy, and why don't we turn our attention to finding more monsters to bring back to our ark? I think I spotted some gooey-looking blue blobs before. Shall we take a look? It's a good job you made the... Yeah, it's very spacious. Very nice, very nice. A new destination has been added to your map, so maybe you take a look at that. Looks like it's down there. Wait, that's actually back before. Oh, that's our place right there. Oops, okay. A little too close there. So, yeah, you're probably going to want get, to get used to moving the camera along with your... Whoa! Jeez, that was close. Boom, run them over, baby. Do you get experience for that? No. I should take a look. We're goomed, goomed, I say. The end of the world is nigh, but at least we'll all get splatted together. Well, they're very light. Like, very light blue. Like, light blue Yoshi. I like it. You're building an ours so you can escape before Doomsday comes. What a coincidence. We were just saying that we didn't really fancy getting splatted after all. When you escape, do you think we can go with you? Of course. There'll be no slime left behind on our watch, but we can only survive if we all work together. Speaking of which, you wouldn't know of any other monsters within splatting distance who might want to come too, would you? Hmm, I seem to remember a great big hairy fellow on a rocky ledge just northwest of here. He was looking a bit gloomy. Ah, we're just gonna take these all at once. What a surprise! The slime follows into the air, so how about that? Oh god, there's an arm. Maybe it's an arm. Yeah, so we might be driving around. This is definitely, like, just designed to give you practice using this thing, you know, so you kind of get used to the control of it and everything. It's not too shabby. And right over here, we got... Doomsday can't be far off now. Goodbye, cruel world. It was nice knowing you. Are you a human? What are you doing here? I can't even see you, dude. <laughs> You're building a ship to escape the ruination. 
We certainly are. If you don't want to get squished into a puddle of gunk, you'd better come to the Ark with us. We'll even give you a lift. Don't mind if I do. I always felt this talk of destruction was making monkeys out of us all. Yeah, in your monkey suits. I think we found all the monsters we're going to find around here. Let's go back and introduce them to the others. Let's go back and tell Master Luke. Okay. What a surprise. The bad boon follows into Yes, What a surprise. The birds are dead. All right, I got to learn my way around. Oh, we're over here by the thing, aren't we? Okay, so if we go this way, we just kind of drive through here. Nice little hole there. <laughs> they made up the ground in just the right way so you could actually get back here. So you only go up one step at a time. By the way, NCS, can you see that raised platform on the Ark? That looks like the perfect place to park. Let's keep it there when we're back at base. There's no chance of losing it that way. Yeah, because that would be... Oh, it returns to the garage. Well, good deal. I'm glad it did that. Hey, we got hearts. I don't know where these came from, but uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Man, what a crazy contraption. All right, new villagers, let's go. Is this the art y'all told us about? Will it really save us from doomsday? It certainly will. There are getting to be too many characters here. <laughs> well, when it's finished, it will. How you would like to help us out with the construction? You expect us to build it? Yeah, we did it. So can you. You don't want to be up shit creek without a paddle, I think is what he was about to say there. None of us want to get squished, but... Feeble-minded fools. Oh, it's Helen. Hold on. What are the big waves of Children of Hardon doing here? Well, I am here to build the Ark, of course. However, it is a race against time. We must complete it before Doomsday comes. Will you not join our cause? I need to readjust my butt in the chair. Uh-uh. There we go. What, Helen's become a builder? The whole world's gone slopsy-turvy. So, but if Helen the Harble says it's okay, then who are we to argue? All right, I'm gonna help you. A quartet of slimes and a bushy bad moon join. So with that, our army gets a little bit bigger. Boy, that first room we built just feels like just another part of it now. I'll tell you. All right. Well, let's be friends, you fay. Speaking of that room, let's check it out. So you probably could just put all your stuff in here, like building stuff if you wanted to. I don't know. I think that's what I did last time. I didn't really do that this time, though. Oh, and see, as I am most pleased you were able to find more monsters to add to our burgeoning crew. I trust you are now quite proficient behind the wheel of the buggy. I'm getting there. It's almost unthinkable that monsters like us would ever build anything. But what can you do? Needs must and all that. Oh, that was the monkey ball. The monkey de ball. Yeah. You're trying to find your friend Malroth, the master of destruction. Seriously? Don't make me laugh. It takes me forever to stop jiggling. <laughs> Even if it's true what you say, I've got no idea how you'd ever find him. He could be anywhere. That's one reason why we're rescuing monsters. Someone out there must know something. I just pray we can find him before Goomsday comes. Goomsday. I swear to God, man. Okay. What you got? Now that the buggy is in your possession, the vortexes are no obstacle. It is time you travel to the Court of Chaos. When you arrive, seek an audience with the Magistrate and ascertain the whereabouts of any nearby monsters who may wish to join us. Perhaps he will be able to provide some clue. He is your master now. Erisplottle shall accompany you, speed past the vortexes, and find the Court of Chaos I bid you safe passage. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. This is Dave's back. Basically back to driving, I suppose. Alright. That sounds fine. I've got to pick up that shield, man. Right here, get out for a second. I want to look at this. Oh, wow, that's the hero's shield. I have no idea when I picked that up, but, uh... I'm, I'm going to equip it, yeah. Wow, sorry, Tempest shield. You really didn't get much use, did you? Oh, well. Guess I'll put the rest of my other crap away here. Uh, maybe even put the scales away. Okay, so if we look at the map now, we're starting to fill out some space here. That's that over there. Court of Chaos is way the hell up here on the northwest side, so we got a ways to go. It's a good thing we got a means of travel here, isn't it? Anyway, if all else fails, just kind of ride around and see what you can do. So, we'll go past this vortex over here. It's kind of a big one. I think this is the one we've been going past, though. So, we're driving over mountains, driving over trees. Doing everything in the world. Try to stay away from the hands, though. Yeah, so this gets out pretty wide and open right here. I remember this spot for some reason more than any other in this chapter. Just this field here. of just pure, straight-up desert. Why did I drive into the wall there? I'm not sure. I don't know. It looked like I could go inside there, sort of, but... Well, I guess not. 
Run over the bugs. Oh, man. Turn the camera up a little bit here. Look up there, NCS. I just caught a glimpse of something. Ooh, that must be the Court of Chaos. Let's go up and take a closer look. Man, I can't wait to hammer that down and tear it all apart and take the stuff home with me. We don't need to worry about that gravitational globule. Not when we got the buggy buggy. Oh, you don't say. Wait, did you hear that? It sounded like someone groaning. It did sound like someone groaning. Yeah, let's go check it out. What do we got here? Let's run them over. Whoa. That's not how that works exactly. Core of Chaos is out of reach. Oh no. Wait a minute. Um. Oh, who are you? My name's Draxon. I just came down to check on the situation, but I got so scared my wings turned jelly. Now I can't get back up to the Court of Chaos. You wouldn't be heading there yourselves, would you? Perhaps you could give me a lynch in that buggy of yours. It's funny you know what it's called. How about that? Alright, why not to grab a little XP while we're here. Yeah, my usual strat with fighting in general in this game is just kind of swing, jump, swing. Maybe swing twice between each jump. Well, these guys are pretty thick. You can just imagine those giant butts of theirs full of juice. They dropped wood, which we don't need. But I guess if you didn't have unlimited wood, this would be one way you could get it, so that you could make your things. Okay, yeah, and speaking of wood, we've got a lot of it here. This guy's got some massive HP, too. Okay, maybe not so much. It looked like a lot at first, but... Just listen to my directions. More like listen to my butt. Okay, well, um... Head under this thing right here. Over this way. You know, if you, if you ever get lost, you can always just check the map and kind of see. So let's see. Well, we're going to need to go here, but we're going to need to go kind of the long way around, if I remember right. Could be wrong about this, but... The best way to find out is just to give it a go. Uh, I might be thinking of something different here. Where are you? You look like you're talkable. Hey, what's up? Can I talk to you yet? Try to strike up a conversation, but there's no response. Oh man. I love when stuff like this happens in video games. It's just there's that air of mystery about you know, like what's up with this person? Is there a story there? Maybe it really is that simple as just going up this way. Probably thinking of something later in the chapter. Just trying to try, try to keep kind of a wide berth here because those holes are all over the place out here. Maybe even go so far as to come down this way. Yeah, look how fast we fill in the map with this thing, though, boy, let me tell you. Sorry, just running over some monsters here, don't mind me. Wait, let me get back up there again. Oh, boy, can I get back up there? Yeah, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna get this way. <laughs> Watch yourself, though. Yeah, so, don't get confused about the quest marker, like, oh, it's generally that way, like, that's our ultimate goal. That's just where it wants you to go for now kind of guiding you to get up there. Now I don't see it. No, it's still ahead of us. Okay, stay away from that. Oh, this thing's gonna be blocking out the ground everywhere you go. What in the... <laughs> Just listen to my directions. I'm good. We're good. Oh boy. Oh, that was way too much. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh... Yeah, don't go right into it. Probably not. Um. Holy jeez. This is mesmerizing, I tell you. Sometimes it's hard to tell where you can go on the map, too, because, you know, normally those mountain symbols, you can't, like, go over those. At least in regular Dragon Quest games, but here? No, you're driving right over them. Jump and sail through the sky! Holy crap, I don't think I should have done that. I think I just lost all my progress, or did I? Well, he said jump and sail through the sky, that's kind of what I did, I guess. Ah! Wait a minute, it's over there. I see it. No, this is definitely it. Golly, so this is the Court of Chaos! I thought I'd gotten lost for a second there. It looks like it oozed to be such a pretty building. Such a shame that it got splatted. Those great big arms appeared out of nowhere and destroyed the place. I mean, I might be a committed disciple of destruction, but I was still very sad when it happened. Well, the magistrate is downstairs. You should meet him. He's very smart. Just take the ladder down. The ladder, you say. Well, oh god. Did I lose my vehicle? So one time I actually did lose my vehicle down here. I like, got it down a hole and I couldn't get it back out. But fortunately, you can always warp it back to your place, and I didn't realize that at first, so I was like, oh god. Well, this looks cool. Here, let's grab some of this. Oh, is that a red... Yeah, it's red glowy light. Is that a throne? 
Ron's gonna take all this crap. I don't even care. Citadels. Oh man, that's a weird looking block right there. What is that? That is Golden Citadel Capital. Oh man. I guess there's nothing we can't break now with these hammers, I tell you. Or with this hammer. Oh, it just destroyed your church, man. Yes. Oh, can I even get back there? Oh, that's like all one thing. Oh my god. Citadel spear symbol. How about that? Jeez. I was wondering why I couldn't walk around that. Holy crap. Well, there's lots of windows here. Lots of decor. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with any of this, but it's just cool to have it. Alright, anyway. Can we use our thing here, or...? No, we still can. Yeah, paragliding's off limits in this place. Oh, hello. Who dares disturb my prayer? No, you're not the name of Zebedee the Zealous. Uh, no, never heard of you, pal. Oh, would it surprise you to know that you were looking right at him? Yes, I am Zebedee, the mighty magistrate of the Children of Hardon. You stand now in the Court of Chaos. For what purpose have you come here, hated human? The ever-hated human. Ugh. What? You say you are a builder, and you are gathering monsters who seek to flee from the dangers of Doomsday. How dare you? You deserve to die. Apparently, that's what we think. <laughs> but why would a human risk life and limb to construct a rescue craft, the Ark, you call it, to save the lives of monsters? I cannot allow such heresy to continue. Your Honor, forgive my rudeness, but I don't want to be destroyed. I want to escape on the Ark with Mr. Builder. That word. Builder. Oh, yes, I remember now. I think it's in the title of this game. The Court of Chaos was constructed here long ago by a builder just like yourself. We merely requisitioned it our, for our own purposes. When our master bestowed his destruction upon this place and I sang in praise, I felt something stir behind the altar. Deep, deep behind. Almost as if that were a clue where you needed to go. Maybe you can ooze your mallet to break those blocks and find out what's back there. Yeah, what's there? Get some more statues here and I got another corner block here. Man, this place is just laced with these gold blocks. I love it. Looks cool. Oh well, let's destroy the altar. Now place it on the altar! I'm just gonna go straight to number one here. Yeah, this looks important. Oh my god. What is the meaning of this? I cannot abide such reckless disrespect. We were just gonna take a little look inside. You said we could. But I did not think you would so brazenly tear down the walls of one of our most sacred temples. I was wrong to ever trust you, Builder. You must pay dearly for this. Okay. Yeah, what's the problem? I thought the children of Haran believed destruction was a good thing. Well, yes, but, uh, it's enough of your excuses. Oh my god. We'll be going then, right after we help ourselves to the contents of these treasure chests. Oh, yeah. Well, mission complete, I guess. I cannot believe it. all this time there was a secret storeroom in the Court of Chaos filled with the relics of the Builder who founded it. And behind the very altar at which I prayed, no less. The one thing that it has never been in my power to destroy. The Children of Hardon are an intriguing bunch. Not only did a Builder build their buildings, they can't even squish their own altar without a Builder's help. They go on and on about creation this or destruction that, but without building they wouldn't be able to destroy a thing. Silence! Further discourtesy will not be tolerated. You may think yourself slippery enough to escape my wrath, but you will not escape the Master. You are made of metal. And steel is weak to fire, according to Pokemon rules. So I should have you in the bag. What? Might I have any information on your friend Malroth's whereabouts? What trickery is this? Only those in the highest echelons of the Children of Hardon are supposed to... How do you know our Master's name? Oh, this is too much. Much too much! First, you find a secret storeroom behind the altar. Now you claim friendship with the Master. Builder, you have me entirely befuddled. What? <laughs> you were an interesting one, I'll give you that. I wish for you to take my apprentice Draxon and I to this Ark of yours so I may witness your sinful work with my own eyes. Every time somebody says that. From now on for the rest of my life. Before we go, I have a question too. Are there any other monsters around here? We want to find as many as we can before Green Day comes. I'm going to start calling it Green Day because that's funnier. Let me think. Ah, uh, yes, there was a masked fellow I spied looking in the shadows beneath this hill. As I recall, he was to the north of here, skulking around at the bottom of the cliff. Let us all search for him together. Yeah, I think I found that guy. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Let's get our crap then. Ooh, lots of food. We might need that, actually. This is the Builder's Sacred Jedi text. Oh, a seed of life. Hell yeah, dude. I'm using it right now. Yep. Yeah. We got this right here. Oh, I thought that was butter for a second. 
doing a little bit too much of recipe grinding and Tears of the Kingdom, I guess. More food. Wait, that's different. That's slimy steak. Oh my. I guess we can get the chests while we're here. Those will be good for room fanciness. Damn. Not that I'm really too concerned with that in this chapter, but whatever. Oh, there's a sconce down there. Grab that. Yeah, man. I guess, do we have, like, these little blue blocks yet? Because usually when I see these, I can't destroy them, so I don't know if I can now. No, I can't destroy these either. Oh, uh, well. What is that? A pile of rocks? Nope, just stone. Oh, what's up the ladder here? I guess the ladder is how we were supposed to get down to him, but I just jumped. Because I'm crazy. I'm crazy Dave. It's just a random corner sitting out here. No problem. Guess we'll just use Chert to get ourselves up here, because that's like what we have the most of right now. And it's probably the least useful thing we have. We'll just get up here. And let's ride. Oh, we're gonna fall. We're gonna fall a little bit here. Okay, here it goes. Oh, man. Okay, where was the quest marker again? Let me double check. It's over there. Okay, so we need to kind of go around the left side. Shouldn't be a problem. Whoa, let's make sure the camera keeps up with us here. Go under this one. Around this way. Let's go find that little masked fellow and see if we can't get him to come with us here. Yeah, hello. Hey, look, who's that over there? Let's get out of the buggy and have a word with him. I've never seen him before. Yeah, he looks strangely familiar. Oh, if the world's gonna get walloped, I might as well do some whacking myself. It's not for real, so I better keep a whacking. Why bother? I got rusty wrecking balls. Stick one of the rusty wrecking balls down where I marked it. Ah, I wanted to make mincemeat of this wall. Why would you want me to do that? Is there something behind it? Well, let's find out. Boom! Get in, that wall never saw it coming. Alright, who else wants some? We're gonna blow the roof off this whole island. Uh, sir? This is a Wendy's? No, he doesn't seem to be that concerned about our impending doom, does he? He might know where to find some other monsters who are. Quick, let's go after him. Let's also gather all the strange sand or whatever this is. Probably is strange sand. Ow! Wow. You just kind of snuck up on me there, buddy. We had this wasp in our house yesterday, and we were trying to spray him with, like, bug spray. And he did not want to go down, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Usually when I see those, I spray them with just whatever I can find because you, the liquid gets on their wings and then they can't fly, so... Alright, the next place I want to go, blow to smithereens is just here! Oh my! Those fangs are jelly big, and those horns look sharp. i never seen anything like them before. You should go and collect some when you get a moment. They might be able to turn them into useful materials in the Forbidden Altar. That sounds awesome. Yeah, let's do that. The ones at the top are squids and too high to reach with your hammer, though. You'd have to build some kind of platform. Actually, I got a better idea. You could use some of those bombs. Oh, leave it at that. That stuff belongs to the Master of Destruction. There'll be hell to pay if you mess with it. Don't listen to him. Go grab some huge horns, titanic top teeth, and big bad bottom teeth. Oh my god, top teeth. That is the funniest expression ever. Top teeth. So you can actually jump in this. Don't worry about it. It looks like lava, but it's not. It's basically like all the other crap you've seen around here. So it wants you to grab as many of these as you can, I would say. Well, it wants you to grab however many the quest says. Fortunately, we're gonna go get plenty more than that. I noticed Build the Ark there said 30%. Wow, is this like some kind of carpet here? I might want to grab some of this too. Can't quite one-shot these though, which is kind of crazy. There we go, got the huge horns. Let's so grab this one right here. Maybe grab some vines while we're here. Yeah, getting the top teeth is going to be a different kettle of fish, let me tell you. Alright, I guess I'll do like he said and just use a rusty bucket bay here. Boom! Now, of course, finding the teeth among all that mess is going to be... not as hard as I thought. <laughs> Yay, we've bagged ourselves a few new bits and blobs of the Master of Destruction. Make sure you chuck them in the Forbidden Altar when we get back to base. I'm sure they'll turn to some jelly useful stuff for the Ark. Yeah, jolly good. Uh-oh. We just set off an alarm here? Oh. I guess we set off a boss. Ha, our muscly monster friend has turned into one of those ghoulish shadow fiends. I don't think that's actually him. Are you lots all right? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> just so we're clear here, that ain't me. I gotta show that can that chancer who's boss before he shows us. Show the cancer who's boss, too. Man, fuck cancer. 
Mm -mm. Yeah, that's a that's an axe. Don't do don't get technical with me. Almost got you. Almost got you. You are not finishing that charge attack, sir. Yes, you are. Okay, never mind. The Shadow Hood is defeated. And that's it. <laughs> I thought there was going to be, like, dialogue there. Well, I guess there is. Huh! Gotcha, you shady rotter. Say, you're pretty handy for a kid. And you got guts. You smashed up all them bits what fell from the master. I never touched them fangs with a barge pole. Right, I've decided. I'm going to stick with you. Let's get there and destroy everything we can so we can't destroy nothing no more. So there's nothing left but null and void. That was an Echoes of Wisdom joke. Sort of. Well, complete. First things first, mister. Do you know of any other monsters near here who don't want to get splatted on Green Day? We want to res rescue as many as we can. You know what? I do. There's a few mates of mine knocking about near here as it happens. I'll show you where they are. It ain't that far. You got a map, yeah? I'll give you directions. Come on, let's go and have a shufty. Kind of feel like we should drop by the base and drop all these people off. And then go get those. I'm not going to be able to fit all that in the car, I can tell you that. Oh, I guess there's no more top teeth. No more tom teeth. Oh, but I'm in the water. Grab some more of this red stuff, whatever this is. Because it looks cool. I want to see what this is, actually. This is sanguine sand? Okay, and then sanguine cinders. Go figure, I think I already had that stuff. Let me get back, back out here, man. The side of that buggy as we came around the corner there was really cool. So maybe take a look at the map first before we start mapping out projections. Just one to the northeast, one to the northwest. Well, that's very symmetrical. So where are we facing? We're facing west, so maybe just kind of push through here. Push through this hole we just made, and we can just keep going here. Yeah, I don't usually drive this at full speed. I kind of just tap it intermittently to make sure I don't go do something stupid. Over there, another monster. Let's bounce out of the buggy and have a word. We're just gonna have so many monsters, I tell ya. Hello. I swear as a warrior of the immortal corpse to serve our order for all eternity to live and die upon the battlefields below. Shut up. <laughs> Saying that there's no coming back from Doomsday from Green Day, I mean from those no being reborn. You what? You built an arcade, you want me to hop board and escape? Wait a minute, why am I a robot? You already have a robot, you don't need another robot, but I guess you're gonna have another robot now. For a guy who talks like a robot, actually, but also looks like a skeleton. Two of the boys are behind me somewhere, I haven't seen the stars, but he can't be far off. If you can talk all them around, come and find me again. Oh, so we gotta find his two bodies. Boy, first we gotta find two monsters, and then when you find one of them, he gives, he sends you to find two of his, uh, bodies, and then it's like, oh. Well, okay. As long as we keep jumping here, we should get there eventually. Maybe build a few platforms here, because I do not like... I mean, I like platforming, but I gotta tell you, it's, uh... Oh, uh, let's see. I think I'll just go like this right here, and then over and out, and hello. I swear as a warrior of the immortal corpse to serve our order for all eternity, and you just have this creed, don't you? Yeah, well, not anymore. One of the others told you to come up here and talk me into escaping on an ark. Well, I suppose it won't hurt to have a quick look before I get turned to bone dust. Count me in. What a surprise! The Chasmin of <laughs> Yeah, what a surprise, alright. Oh, let's see. So maybe look up above, look at- oh, oh, there he is, right there. Okay. Whoops. There I go jumping with the wrong button again. Oh, there's a thing here. Yeah, something tells me we're not going that way. Oh. Uh, Mayhaps we can get over there? I mean, you could do this any way you want. That's the kind of the beauty of it, really. If you wanted to just build up from here and go to it, you could do that. So are we, like, level with him yet? Not even close. If I keep the camera like this, it actually looks really cool as we do this. <laughs> Fortunately, we have enough garbage here to just kind of... do what we gotta do. There are holes directly below us. This reminds me of Minecraft. Oh god. Um... Sorry. This is not the place you want to be when you're eating. Especially if you get full and, like... get dizzy or something. I mean... Not that that would happen, but whatever. I haven't really looked to see where I'm going here, but I imagine we must be getting pretty close. Ah, oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Yep. Hi there. I swear, as a warrior of the Immortal Corps, nope. Not hearing it again. Oh, my brother in arm bones asked you to persuade me to board your ark and escape eternal death? 
Well, you don't have to ask me twice. Hey, this'll tickle your funny bone. I actually quite like being reincarnated. Job security, you know? In fact, we may as well jump off here. If I break every bone in the fall, I'll come back good as new. Okay. What a surprise. Now they're all here. Everybody's here. Well, I see a dude down there. I wonder if I should maybe... I thought he said there were two of them, but now I see somebody down there, and there's, more importantly, a quest marker next to them. So I think I'm just gonna jump down and say howdy here. And that'll be easy, because I have a paraglider who can break my fall, even if it doesn't work. 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 Okay. Hi. I swear, as a warrior of the immortal corpse- Oh, man! Another fresh start! I just wish I could've said goodbye to everyone before I died. Hope they're doing alright. Man. You're pulling my leg bone into the air splattle. It's really you! It's you! Oh, man, what the heck? I knew you were alive. I thought I told you. I can't die. I'm undead. Little things like death won't stop a warrior of the immortal corpse. Anyway, what are you doing all the way out here? I'll tell you what, let's get out of this hole first. You fill me in on the details later. Yeah, it took me a minute to remember, like, how his voice went. Oh, uh, what happens if I bomb this? Because it looks like I totally should. Nothing! Oh, it's indestructible. Are you sure? Yep. Are you baiting me? Wow, bombs are weak in this game. <laughs> I guess they wanted you to come through this wall probably because it leads you right back to where you just were. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Boy, that could not have been more perfect than it was right there. All right, dude, where are you at? I found all your friends and then some. Well, you managed to tuck them all into this bomby escape plan, I see. I know I said I'd consider your offer, but the more I think about it, the more I want Green Day to come. Being undead's a curse. Make no bones about it. I'll be hearing none of that talk, soldier. Where's your old backbone, eh? You swore to serve the corpse forevermore, and NCS here might be our best chance of living that long. Oh, Sergeant Principal, sir, please forgive me. I didn't recognize you there. All right, I'll come with you. Yeah, sure. To right you, Will. Come on, I want to see what this arc of yours with my own sockets. Is that your buggy? Let's get going. How in the world are we all going to fit in here? It really is. This is like the biggest recruitment trip we've ever made, man. We got like eight people are going to be added to the thing. And that's after just getting like four a second ago. How do I... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at them all. <laughs> okay. How are, oh my god. Yeah, um... How in the world is this car going to hold us all. I have no idea. We got one more, but it's off in the opposite direction, so let me just do a Yui here. Make a legal U-turn at the next intersection. See you in the dis- oh, wait, no, yeah, I see you. Right there. We're just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Who's that? Let's get out of the buggy and say hello. As if we didn't have any more crowdedness in this thing. <laughs> It'll be Green Day before long, and then eternal darkness. Not even my echo location will be any use. We're running out of voices to give these guys. Yeah, who are you? What do you want with me? You want me to stop feeling sorry for myself and join you on your ship, which will all sail away to disgrace it. It's a blur. Hi, that's a very generous offer, but you can't expect me to come with you right off the bat. Besides, my buddy's trapped in that black void behind me. I just can't take wing and leave her behind. If you can go to bat for me and get her out of there, I'll think about your offer. So you're gonna send me off to get somebody, too. Huh. It's pitch black in there. Let's leave the buggy out here and go in on foot. If we were to lose sight of it in the darkness, we might never find it again. Alright, the pitch black part. I forgot about that. Also, I'm not even looking at it. It's over there. Yeah, check this out. Check this fucking shit out! Yeah, it just goes instantly to black. When you leave, it turns back to normal again. Yeah, let's try it. No, not even with a torch, man. You just gotta blindly walk toward the spot. And talk. And not jump. Who are you? I thought I was the only one in here. Aw, oh, but who cares when the world's about to end? At least I don't have to watch it happen. I'm blind as a bat in here. It's why I came in the first place. It was scary first, but I got used to it. I hardly even bat an eyelash now. As far as I'm concerned, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Oh, man. Oh, the discussions I could have about that. She's out there waiting in the wings for me right now, really? Wait a minute, is she like your girlfriend? Is that what's going on here? Can you remember how to get back out? Just wing it due west, whichever way that is. West. Well, if we have a map, we can just do that. Maybe we should run. 
I'd love to know what it actually looks like in there, but I can't imagine it'd be much different than the way it looks out here, so whatever. Oh my eyes, the light, it burns! That's also a mood. I've never been anywhere so dark in all my life. I was wibbling with fear the whole time. All right, where's that bad brain? I want her to join me in the darkness. I suppose I'll have to put up with a little light. Go on, lead the way. Well, okay then. Hello. Yeah, you persuaded my friend to come out of the darkness. Oh, why did you send this human to rescue me? You don't want to see the world get destroyed, do you? If you'd joined me in the darkness, you wouldn't have had to see a thing. How bad anyone can you be? I'm not ready to give up and die. I never was. Besides, this human says he's built an ark to escape the end of the world, and there's a place for us on board. What do you think? We'd be bad poop crazy to not go. You know, in the cave place. <laughs> nope. Got nothing for that one. Well, and yes, I think that's all the monsters we're going to find around here. Let's head back to the ark. Now, which way was it? Mm, if we go back through that cave where we splatted that shadowy goon and head south. I think I remember now. Okay, I'm navigator again, so just follow my directions. First slot, the cave. The cave. Remember your failure at the cave. Let's see how many monsters we have in here now. This is crazy. <laughs> the one's hanging off the left side. Man, oh man. And we also have bugs. It's a good thing they can't really hurt us. Or maybe they can. Alright, so, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna bother with your directions. I'm just gonna look at the map. So yeah, basically come through here. Get back out that way. Yeah, simple enough. Just gotta do it. That's crazy to think of how much stuff could be out here. I don't know if there actually is, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, right, okay. Just come through the cave, head south, just like he said. So take us right back to it in no time. Yeah, without the car, like, I can imagine getting around here would be tedious as hell. But then I suppose you could say the same about a lot of areas in the game. Especially, like, early on. Like, if you had this in Chapter 1 or 2 or even 3, it would be quite amazing. Just filling out some more map space here. Why, don't bother, don't mind me. Who knows what's out here? I'm just gonna go up this hill here because it looks cool. Oh, man, right in there. Holy God. I don't know what just happened there, but I don't want it to happen again. Hello, man. It's pushing on through. All right, hey, we made it. Give me a little driveway here. I think the sand there is kind of to incentivize you to head to the right, so you go up the hill naturally and just come right to it. And there we go. The buggy buggy returns to the garage. Huh. Yeah, uh, we, it's a little more than just that is returning here. Let me tell you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, good to meet you, good to meet you. Let's be friends, let's be friends. Oh my God, there's so many people. There's so many monsters. So this is your ark, eh? You must work your fingers to the bone to build the thing. You know, after I fell into the void before, I... Leap activating greeting protocol. Griswold, you are alive. Welcome back. Oh, you sound so happy for a robot. Hell, look who it is. Noah and Grenville. You two are certainly a sight for sore sockets. It's such a surprise to see you. I thought we'd lost you for good. Wait a minute. That's the other guy. Well, I, I almost I lost you too, so it kind of makes sense for both of us to say it. Wait a minute. Oh, Zebedee. Oh, these two. Yeah. I fare as well as you. I'm here because of the Builder. His story is quite fascinating. One heresy after the next. Yet he claims to count the Master as our personal friend. <laughs> quite. Did he also tell you that he is aware this world is an illusion? Not that it matters. Everything will be destroyed, first our world and then his. However, since I met NCS, I have begun to question my own beliefs. I can no longer say for certain that destruction is the right path. Then we must forge a new one. I and my disciples shall join your crew. I look forward to seeing what course our young Builder embarks upon. Ah. Uh. Griswold, Zebedee, Draxon, a hood, a pair of silver somethings, and a trio of chasmonauts join the crew of the Ark. <laughs> that, ha that had to be on purpose that you brought that many back at once. That is crazy. This is the biggest army I've ever seen. We're gonna get back to, like, actually building stuff now? Probably. But I think we're gonna have to do that in the next one because, oh my god, it's already up to, like, almost an hour. Man, there was so much dialogue in this episode, I was starting to lose it a little bit, I gotta be honest. Wow. Okay. I'll be glad to get back to just hanging out at home for a change here. But even with all my monstrous friends, I still don't have my best friend back yet, and therefore I'm not happy. So, oh well, I'll just... Wait, wait. Where's goodbye at? There it is. See you later. Bye.